Hey friends, what's up, Brad? Nick Gamer here. Welcome back to Farm Simulator 17 on the edited Goldcrest Valley. So, if everything goes right, this will be posted the day after the last episode, which is pretty cool. I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> um, so, today we are going to start off by making some hay. Specifically for silage, that's why we had the wind roar right behind it instead of a tether. And as you guys may have noticed, I kind of like to do, use a new mod every season. Or I focus on one mod every season, of one script mod rather. Last season it was horseplay, used it, we used a lot of horseplay. This, this uh, season, I think we're going to be using follow me. Always wanted to use it uh, past two games, but never really wanted to. But I decided to give it a try, and so far I'm liking it. So that's what we're gonna do. Hop in our JCB. I have it set up that way. I do one headland after uh, after we're done mowing, or at the end of us mowing, I should say. And that's just because follow me doesn't lift up the uh, implement. It'll just keep it down as is and drive right behind me. So that's what we're going to do. Start off by mowing some grass. Now I do have to admit this is the first video I'm recording in the month of December. Oops. Last episode was recorded last day of November, I think. So. I mean, it's sort of December, I guess. <laughs> anyway, lots and lots of stuff goes on in December. Uh, long time subs may know that it's my birthday on December 18th. And then obviously you have Christmas and I think Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. I know Hanukkah, I think Kwanzaa too. I don't know. Not well versed in the uh, other holidays other than Christmas in December. Um, so yeah. And I just did a head headland thing, I was doing a headland. No, that's alright. Worst thing that will happen is I go over it again. No biggie. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Hopefully everybody's having a... Alright time finding frozen inside. I know it can be uh, pretty stressful. As I'm finding out now. Um... Main main issue for me is get is finding money. I mean, I get some from YouTube, but I try to keep that only for YouTube, only to put back into YouTube. You know, and I've said it since day one, ever since I started making money on videos, is the money I get from YouTube. I try to try my best to put it back into YouTube, like buying games or equipment. I forgot to put my movies in. But yeah, like buy games, equipment, um, I've looked into doing some giveaways, just haven't gotten any good way to do so yet. Um, it sounds pretty bad, but um, it's, it's what it is, it is what it is. That was a bad turn, that was a really bad turn. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys are having a stress-free or at least a low stress time shopping for presents as I said I know how that can get stressful sorry I'm really focusing on this moment job right here uh, I need to take a sip of soda Dr. Pepper I tried saying it to be exact before I started taking a sip, but my hands were moving too fast with my mouth. And I know I posted a while back on Facebook and I think Twitter, and I think in the, um, the, uh, the, the, the description of the last two videos, or one of the last videos at least, 
that I, um, there would be an explanation video as for why I wasn't uploading for a while. That still hasn't happened, I know. Um, just haven't really had time or haven't really felt like making a vlog. Um, what I might do is just record some gameplay and put the explanation in with the gameplay. I don't want to do it this episode because I tried to keep Let's Plays, you know, fun and not quite serious. So, that's, what's, that's what we're doing. I have noticed that after I've been getting a lot of equipment uh, in this save game that I am starting to lag again. So once you get a lot of equipment the lags the game still lags which is reasonable and understandable. We did grind the bit. We did downgrade our mowers to the Pottinger. They're uh, slightly shorter working with but I did it so we could uh, easily afford this JCB 8310 fast track um, some other things happened around the farm I will I guess I'll run over and show y'all the farm has gotten technical we got the Lely uh, feed area sweeper that way you don't have to run through here with the um, bucket every well I, do, I tend to feed the cows and tend to the animals well I shouldn't say feed the cows but I, t <laughs> I try to tend to the animals three times a day morning afternoon and um, evening nighttime that doesn't always happen but let me just control F. Yeah, that doesn't always happen, but it is what I go for and mostly what I always do. Alright, now we are going to take these guys up to the hill field, the old forest land that we that I showed you all that I cut down. Now this is tricky because this this structure has two times the travel speed as that one. That one's about 25, this one's around 42 or 41. I can't remember. Either way, we're, we're cruising. Oh, 50. No, 45. Either way, we're cruising. And, yeah, he'll... It'll take a while for him to actually get through the field. Uh, I did go ahead and seed all the sunflower and some of the soybean ground that I showed last episode. Oops, sorry about that. Mr. Ray Honda, I hope you did a video. Cool. Um, sorry about that. He is way back there. I forget what I was saying now. Oh yeah, I reseeded some of the... Uh, mainly just the sunflower fields. <laughs> I reseeded those as canola for the winter. So, yeah. Don't know where I was going with that. I think I was just updating you guys. I'm the best YouTuber, aren't I? Uh, I press control W by accident. Oh shit. Let's go ahead and wait here. Uh, that's a text message. Respond to that while I wait for this guy. Hey, there he is.
Did that wacky thing I did when I press Control W for GPS? All right. Go ahead and get into the field here. Gonna have some more text interruptions, but it is what it is. Again, I'm the best YouTuber. Don't y'all know this? wondering what this is by the way <laughs> this is the IT runner um, low crate it's one of the mods that are out this is what I use to transport the logs off of here worked pretty good I just didn't feel like using the log trailer so I just used that and gotta say it worked pretty good I was happy with it all right let's try to remember we're doing a headland after so don't have to worry about that right now, really. Actually, with this one, it doesn't even matter. I, I never get, really get going back and forth. Just kind of go with the flow of the field, really. <laughs> Oops. I'm gonna try to get some planting done this episode, but I don't know if we will. Um, yeah, I really don't know if we will. Also, like I said, we are making this for silage bales, so we're gonna wrap them up to make silage. We're gonna sell most of them. Um, however, we gotta keep some of, them, some of them because I have ran out of silage in the silage pit. So I need some silage to feed the cows, and I'm pretty sure they're going to need feeding here. They're definitely going to need feeding at least once before I get a corn crop in for silage. So these will act as fillers, and I actually have some left over here. So maybe these will fulfill the needs. I think it should. No, wait, it definitely should. Let's go ahead and get this bit, since we don't really have to make a head of the man. He's still following. Good. Okay, that, that area is going to look a little funky when I go to bail. It is what it is, I suppose. Again, I, I apologize for this for like every episode. Wait, that made no sense. I apologize for this like every episode. That's what I wanted to say. And it probably gets annoying, but it annoys me. Just that it's a thing that's happening. But um, sorry for the background noise. Again, computer isn't the newest or the greatest. <laughs> So, he likes to uh, pretend it's an airplane and try to take off. Hasn't succeeded yet, but... I don't know. Kinda thinking it might succeed one of these days. Just gonna see my computer start flying around my room and out the window. If I'm lucky enough, it'll have it on video, so you all will see it. Well, here it happening. Let him go so we don't run into him. So what do you all think I should get as the next piece of equipment? I'm thinking about saving up for a forge harvester, an actual one with that can uh, do. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to save it up for one of the self-propelled um, forge harvesters in the game. 
Uh, I'm looking at the New Holland uh, CR something something. But I also feel like it's time to upgrade our combine. Well, not upgrade, but get another, a bigger one. Because the Oliver is great, it just takes a lot of time to harvest. And I want to try and cut down the harvest times. So running that in conjunction with like a, a 7130 axial, axial flow, I think that'll be really good. And really up the productivity of the farm. 